So Tali didn't take the nap that I quite expected her to take. <laughs> it was like maybe 30 minutes. But it was enough time for me to at least brush my hair, which, you know what? That's a victory. Oh, you look so cute. She's trying to tell me something. Are you ready to go? Today's my mom's birthday, so we're gonna go out to lunch at her favorite Mexican. So I'm excited about that, because who doesn't like Mexican? What's wrong? She's just excited to go. There you go. There you go. You're doing a fine job. Good job. All the way to daddy. Look at that. Good job. She's walking right past me, okay. We had a really good lunch. Oh, so good. I'm so full. And I also had a margarita, which I think I kind of regret having at this point. Why? It's because I was like, I'm like replaying it. Oh, wow. My mom and I were having margaritas. So we were like, oh, whatever. We'll just get a picture because of value. It was like six glasses of margarita in that yeah, picture. Yeah, she kept, the lady, the lady selling it to, to you was like, yeah, it's like four glasses worth. It's fine. It's four glasses. That was, you guys had two glasses each. There was still like half a pitcher left. It was way too much. We actually have to fix our master bedroom toilet. The, the Someone flipper. Someone here is a very hard flusher. I just want to make sure it all goes. So I hold it down. <laughs> Whatever. The little flipper for the flush broke. So we just have to get a little replacement piece. It's not like anything mechanically wrong with the toilet. It works. And we've been able to flush. We just have to, we've had to like manually pull the little plastic thing that attaches to the little flipper. So anyways, we're gonna go do that now. I need to like let my food settle because, ugh. It's like the place that time is forgot. What is back there? It's like a back road. Well, go that way, go that way. Let's see Guys, I've never even heard of a Cub Foods. It's like tucked behind Everything. Oh my gosh, that was a robin. It was oh, red. Yeah. Freeze it here and show people. Bing! Wow. Well, Big laps. You think this used to be a Cub Foods? Maybe. It's just like that sign. Is, it was that spooky. sign was behind a car dealership that was also behind a Home Depot. It's like in, um, what's it called? Walking Dead. It looked like one of the signs. You know, like Time Forgot. Here we are in Georgia. This is where they filmed it. Maybe they filmed it here. And that's why Cub Foods. I'm going to Google Cub Foods. There's no, like, direction. There's Look. No, like, there's no... This is, this is a car dealership, okay? This is just a random size. It says Cub This Foods. isn't even a car. This is the back of the car dealership. This is the repair center. And then the car dealership is still in front of it's this. It's open 24 hours, Cub Foods is. And it's not behind this. It's Home Depot. And there's a neighborhood behind there. There's no Cub Foods. There's no such thing as Cub Foods, is there? I'm going to Google it and find out where Cub Foods was. Update. I googled. So Cub Foods used to be where that Big Lots is and it closed in the 90s but they never took down the sign. Which is weird. Misleading. Also talk about misleading there's a sign here that says easy access to our, our road. Yeah no easy access it just takes you all the way back around the Home Depot where we just were. And we just is, did a loopity loopity. Yep we sure did. This is literally where we turned around in the same exact spot at the IHOP. We were, we were commenting on those balloons. Oh, yeah, these balloons. Let's refill them. How much is three million balloons that you back? 75 cents? Listen, you could have gotten that stuff filled at Cub Cadet or Cub Murder. Cub Cadet? What's it called? Cub, Cub Cadet's a brand. Foods. Cub Foods. Cub Cadet's Cub a foods. lawnmower brand, sorry. All right, let's get home. Cub Foods. Dance dads. Yeah, yeah. So my parents brought us some stuff from Rudy's in San Antonio back. <sighs> so happy to see all this. So this is Rudy's rub. It's it the only thing I've had. Yeah, it goes on burgers, it goes on like brisket, it goes on beef, things like that. It's like I put it on everything. This is for poultry. It's really their turkey rub, but you could also put it on chicken. It's to die. This is what is exciting me. Some sauce, and they even spell it as sauce. Yeah. Rudy's barbecue sauce. And they have a spicy sauce. No, a sissy sauce. Oh, this one's spicy. That's the spicy. This is just the regular. This is the only one I've ever Yeah, Rudy's though. is super, like, spicy, but it's great. It's Texas. So because Daniel has it for a second, I can actually do some of my planning for the week. 
I do want to do some Mama Milana videos this week. I think that would be like really fun. Um, I was really trying uh, to plan a way where I could do like three times a week. I had like three different topics, but I don't know if it's going to work that way. Um, just cause of the way my life is, I think I'd rather just post to my blog things that are going on or like things I think of that week that could be interesting. So it could be a review. It could be just like routine stuff about Tali. It could be how we pack. Um, it could be what we're eating, but it's just going to kind of be whatever's convenient just to kind of keep constant content on it. Um, it helps me cause I like everything written out in an organized way. And you know, out there, if someone's interested in what we're doing, who knows, we're not that interesting, but listen, if you're watching this vlog, you are a guilty party to watching my life. So you're kind of interested. So yeah, I'm working on those. I'll show you guys when I'm all done. Okay, so this is what I just finished making. Essentially, this is like my cleaning schedule, which I'll go over in a different vlog. Um, this is gonna be our meals for the week and this is our shopping list, which is coming with us. Guys, I just saw RC Cola. It's been like years. It's been years. <laughs> Somebody's a rash. Talk to the me. <laughs> we talked to the pediatrician and they told us to give her a teaspoon every six hours and if she needed it. But right now she's fine. Earlier she was a little moody, so we're just gonna have it just in case. We decided not to do a full shop get everything we need to tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be open. There's no sign saying it's not, so. Tomorrow's Monday. See, it throws everything off. Everything's thrown off. But we got what we needed. Tiny, tiny Benadryl and almond milk. Because we think her rash is dairy related. Everything so, is dairy. Everything's dairy related. Everything has to do with cows. Come back to the house. I'm still full from lunch. I don't really think I need dinner. She asleep right now. Oh my God, I she no, she does. That'd be great, though. Finally, she falls asleep. So we gave her some unsweetened almond milk, and I thought she liked it until I looked at the floor, and there was a puddle of almond milk. Now she has to eat without a shirt on <laughs> because her other shirt had almond milk all over it. And we weren't going to put her in new clothes because she would spill it all over the new clothes. And she's about to take a tubby anyways. So. Toddler life. Eating veggie pasta. And living large. It's a Mickey Mouse clubhouse.